Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read you a book called All About Chili by Monica Brown. It's the vocabulary reader that goes along with our story this week. And it's actually about the country that Gabriella in My Name is Gabriella is from. Let's see what they have to say. Chile is a country in South America. In Chile, there are mountains, deserts, and forests. There are lakes, rivers, and beaches. There are even volcanoes. During the rock unit, we learned that volcanoes are what give us the igneous rocks. Pretend you were going to Chile for a trip. Remember, pretend is to make believe. I wonder what you will visit first. You could go to the Atacama Desert. The ground is covered with sand and it almost never rains there. Then you could go to the mountains. Chile has grand mountains called the Andes. The Andes stretch a long way down one side of Chile. And what they mean by grand is look at that photograph. Look how gorgeous those mountains are. They're big and beautiful. That's what makes them grand. On the other side of Chile lies the Pacific Ocean. So Chile sits between the Andes Mountains and the Pacific Ocean. Chile has many rainforests. The forests are filled with fluttering birds. The world's smallest deer, the Pudo, live in the forests in Chile. In Chile, many people live on farms. They grow food such as apples and peaches. Other people live and work in big cities such as Santiago. Santiago is Chile's largest city. It is the capital of the country. What is the capital of our country? I hope you told somebody Washington, D.C. Children who live in Chile go to school just like you do. They study math and reading just like you do, but their classes are usually taught in Spanish. Spanish is the language that they speak in Chile. Do you notice anything different about what they wear compared to what we wear? People in Chile are very friendly. Some might ask you to come over for dinner. If you accept, you might have meat and vegetables. That means if you go, that's what they would probably serve. You can express your thanks by saying gracias. Gracias is thank you in Spanish. If people gave prizes to friendly countries, Chile might win. If people gave prizes to beautiful countries, Chile might win also. Maybe you will visit someday for real, not pretend. I know I'd love to go to Chile. So I want you to tell someone how you feel about the text and why. Would you want to go to Chile yourself? What are the, the things that this book showed you that made you want to go there? Or maybe made you not want to go there? Also review the vocabulary, accept, Express, fluttering, grand, pretend, prize, taught, and wonder. Please talk about these words and what they mean. You might even challenge yourself to find a dictionary and look up the meanings of each word. That's all for now, friends. Thank you for listening.